Very, very tidy start by the pole starter, Alessio Picariello. He's in the 88 car, but then a tap from blue on silver, and that was Yasmin Yafar being given a, a dimension-changing knock from the, the 17 Yokomizo driven Mercedes and that's not what he wanted it put him back into third place Melvin Moe briefly into second but back into fourth but you can see how hard Lesio Picariello was pushing and a whole host of runners in the group behind that was at turn three running wide over the tarmac got back onto the racing surface but this was the moment of frustration for Jasmine Ifar having been tipped out of second place nearly out of the race down at the first corner by Naoko Yokomizo he was then stuck behind Yokomizo's Mercedes that then, thereafter, was driven very well indeed. Yokomizo eventually picked up a five-second penalty to be added to his race finishing time for that contact at Turn 1. It was of no concern at all for Picariello because he was clear, more than a second clear at the end of the opening lap. Further back on, great battle between the Lamborghinis in the AM class. In the early stages, Ben Porter prevailing from the Vitana Motorsport car, but uh, it wasn't to be that way at the end of the race. And the birth racing project, GT4 Mercedes, clearly some contact leading to a car that struggled Stop to get back to the goal. pits. Zero Daniel Lau then had a couple of moments in the 55 Mercedes and scuppered its chance. This is the second of the uh, BMW Team Studi cars entered for the first time this weekend. That too took bodywork damage, but then in the closing stages of the race, it was the pros making their way forward. The 912 Porsche in the hands of Yuan Bo and being chased very hard by Marco Seafried in the Ferrari but it got super, super close down into turn one, diving past the others went. The Ferrari clattered, unfortunately, by Juvai, putting Christina Nilsson onto the grass. She held that very well and would advance towards the podium, but both of the cars in the clash the, uh, in real, real trouble. Then onto the final lap, last chance really to make a move. Did he do enough braking? Just enough by Wear on Tan. Managed to get into the lead in turn one, Inside Vutigon in through Fuversack. Then it was side by side. In fact, the Porsche slightly ahead, but he was on the wrong side of the circuit for the next corner. Couldn't produce a sweep around the outside. And again, using experience gain, Wear on Tan just doing a really, really good job. And he was going to be able to take it home to victory. There was no way for the Porsche driver to fight back. And at the end, it was 0.7 of a second. That was all it was between first and second place teams. Driver penalties hampered others, but Christina Nilsson came through to took th take third place in the 99 Mercedes for Craft Bamboo, but it was a very happy place for Wear on Tan going across to congratulate his rival, Vutikon in Thrifuvasak.